Let's talk of endometriosis, the inflammation and DNA changes. Endometriosis is a condition where cells similar to those from the lining of the womb go where they shouldn't, such as the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, or even the pelvis. The disease impacts about 10% of women in the reproductive age group. A key part of this new understanding comes from looking at two things, inflammation and genetic somatic mutations. Inflammation happens when the immune cells react to abnormal tissue, such as swelling and redness after a cut. In women with endometriosis, the body constantly tries to rid the misplaced tissue by sending inflammatory markers. What are these inflammatory markers? They are proteins like cytokines and molecules such as reactive oxygen species that helps to fight out invaders or repair damaged tissue. But in endometriosis, the surprising thing is that this inflammation never really calms down. The constant release of these markers makes the environment around the tissue stressful, almost toxic over time, and this stress can actually damage the DNA in the cells, causing somatic mutation. In important genes such as ARID1A, PTEN, KRAS and TP53. These changes aren't inherited. They build up over years from ongoing injury repair as the tissue bleeds and heals each month. Instead of simply healing, the tissue with these mutations starts to act differently. It activates repair signals that promote extra scarring, which is fibrosis. The body produces a lot of collagen, making some lesions thick and stiff. This scarring process can cause pain, menstrual problems, and even infertility. Some of the same genes mutated in certain cancers are seen in endometriosis, but this rarely means cancer. The mutations mostly drive repeated scarring. For patients, it means that treatments may not improve by just blocking hormones, but also calming inflammation and reducing fibrosis. In summary, Endometriosis may result in inflammation that keeps damaging tissue, resulting in DNA changes. And these drive the body to repair too much. This extra bit of repairing creates scars. Scientists are now targeting these harmful processes, hoping to bring relief.